The last U.S. troops left Iraq in December of 2011. Much of the American public was relieved to see American forces pulled out, but we since then have heard remarkably little about what is going on in the country that we invaded back in 2003. Ibrahim al Marashi is a professor of Middle East history at Cal State San Marcos. His research has focused on Iraq before, during, and after the war. Wael al Dalemi is a medic and public health professor at UC San Diego. He left Iraq in the 90s but still has family living there. So, Dr. al Dalemi, you left Iraq, but uh, you, know, you still have a lot of relatives there. Would you say that conditions there now are any better than before the U.S. invaded? Um, I would say it, it is not in many aspects from a, a security perspective, from corruption, and from all aspects of everyday life. There is much more violence. There is less security. And people uh, sometimes wish that they were uh, under the previous uh, dictatorship than th this kind of uh, uh, situation. What would you say is at the root of the increased sectarian violence right now? Um, I think it's the people who are leading. Uh, they are functioning from a perspective of sectarianism for uh, political gain rather than looking for the long-term outcome for this uh, country and where it's heading. So, uh, Professor al Marashi, you um, were actually involved in some way in the original, uh, the, the war beginning, because some of your student research was quoted in documents by the British and American government as a justification for going to war. Um, do you, what do you think that that says about the intelligence and how good it was as to what was going on in Iraq at the time, and even now, as to what the intelligence is like for what is going on in, in other countries in the Middle East? Well, when I was a PhD student at the uh, University of Oxford, I was writing about Iraq under Saddam Hussein in the 90s. So while I was writing, didn't have much argument for to go to war against, the, uh, against Iraq in 2003. Nevertheless, my information was taken out of context and massaged to, into a British government dossier to justify the war which should have kind of sent emergency signals that once this plagiarism was discovered, and it was discovered before the actual events of the war, that it should have come as no surprise that the other intelligence, stating that Iraq was a clear and present danger, Iraq had a functioning WMD program. It should have been questioned, scrutinized more by the international media, but particularly the American media. But that kind of red flag was never really examined. It was quickly forgotten, and uh, attention was focused on the upcoming war. Does this make you question some of what you hear about current intelligence about the Middle East? It makes me question the notion of intelligence. I, I, th I think when we hear intelligence, we assume that governments have better information than we the public do. And what that plagiarism incident demonstrated was that even a PhD student can produce information that governments need. And so during the, these crises with Iran, North Korea, and Syria, I, I think the lesson I have to offer is that, yeah, intelligence is not beyond scrutiny. That intelligence produced by governments is not perfect. So, Dr. Al Dalemi, um, it turns out that the Guardian newspaper put out a report along with the BBC just last week implicating U.S. advisors in um, what they call our uh, their U.S. funded special police commands who ran a network of torture centers in Iraq. What could the ramifications of that be? I mean, uh, this has been known. It's not new knowledge for Iraqis locally because they are under that uh, unfortunate situation. They are being um, uh, detained unlawfully uh, thousands, tens of thousands for years. Um, then uh, there are death squads, and then there are people who are just being uh, targeted because of their sect. Now, this is going to spiral out of control. Uh, and the U.S. really has to take a stand, a moral stand, not to support such a, a government that kind of uh, perpetrate this and try and address this uh, allegation in a very strict and uh, quick manner. Very quickly, how long do you think it'll be before we really see the effects of this war? I think we're already seeing it, and uh, this is going to continue unless there is a dramatic shift in the way that this government is running the country. Okay. Thank you very mu much indeed. That is Ibrahim al-Marashi. Thank you so much. And Wael al-Dalaini. Appreciate it.